Turin of Mongolia, Yamaguchi of Japan. Bronze medal at 65 kilos. Japan has already won a bronze medal earlier tonight. They are looking for number two. Mongolia was denied in the matchup between these two countries at 57 to kick off our coverage. Wrestlers twisted up. Right shoulder of the Mongolian, the left shoulder for Yamaguchi, and the two disengage. Again, it's Yamaguchi trying to cut the corner, come around the side, sticking the defensive mechanism in as Savinsurin. Same position we were in a few moments ago, and the activity carries him out of bounds, and Yamaguchi is going to get the step out point. Mongolia was represented in several Greco-Roman medal matches. Their women wrestled really well. In fact, they finished second behind Japan in the team race. Low shot by Yamaguchi has the leg elevated. We'll find out what type of balance Seven Surin has here. Trying to work his way near the edge. His left foot goes into the protection area. Leg still elevated, and the action carries him out of bounds. A second step out point. And Yamaguchi now goes up 2-0. I think if you're Mongolian, Sabin Surin, you're, you're okay with that. You're in a precarious position with that leg up high. A lot of bad things can happen. Surin just keeps taking shots, just can't trap Yamaguchi quite yet. The elusive Japanese wrestler, 23 years old, placed 11th at the World Championships in Oslo a year ago, 17th a couple of years back. He is a previous junior world champion, won the junior title in 2019. Tonight an opportunity for his first senior medal. Time wrestling, under 10 seconds to go. Couple of step out points, and that has been it so far in the opening period. Kaiki Yamaguchi with a two to nothing lead after one. I want to remind you, coming up tomorrow night, it is the finale of this year's edition of the Asian Championships. We will close out men's freestyle with the remaining five weights. We are back on the air worldwide at 1800 local time here in Ulaanbaatar. We hope you can join us for the finale and the closing ceremonies tomorrow night here from Mongolia. We certainly have enjoyed our time all week. A lot of us arrived last Saturday with the in and out flights to the local Genghis Khan airport here in Ulaanbaatar, they only fly out on certain days, so a lot of the staff arrived on Saturday. Had a chance to go explore some of the sights and sounds of the city. The crew will be departing on Tuesday. And it's off to more continental championships. Discuss a little bit later on, we'll give you the rundown of the remaining continentals, the ranking series events all coming up all leading to Belgrade, Serbia in the World Championships. Offensive opportunity from Yamaguchi early, in on a leg. He was in this position back in the first period. Nice job there by Seven Surin to disappear. In the process though, his right foot went out of bounds and the point is given. Boy, he nearly 
pulled off a magician move as he was able to kind of limp leg his way out. Just ran out of real estate on the edge. Yamaguchi, it's only a matter of time before he finishes one of these, and here it is. He had him high up into the air, and he'll get the takedown. Seven Surin trying to get right back up to his feet. Brought down parterre opportunity here for Yamaguchi. The Mongolian not giving him any chance at a lace. And the referee blows it dead. You know, for as, as dominant as the Japan women are in women's wrestling, you know, sometimes I think the men get a little overlooked and, and, you know, rightfully so. We saw Japan put on a clinic the last couple of days on the women's side. They won seven of the ten gold medals. They completely obliterated the field here at this Continental Championship. And what was so impressive about the Japanese women yesterday, their four Olympic champions were not here, so they still win seven golds without their four Olympic champs. A lot of the press follows the women in the uh, men's freestyle very quietly with a lot of talent as well. In a position here to win their second bronze medal in as many weights. Yamaguchi just has seven sir and all out of kilts offensively and he is gonna latch on near the edge. And that is going to be it, two and two. And you can bet that Mongolia is not going to like that. I don't think they want that second two-pointer to be awarded, so they are going to challenge, and we are going to wait and go to the replay, the review process. Well, now they've taken the two, that, that second two off the scoreboard, so I... Don't know if Mongolia will want to challenge now. Mongolia saw them go two and two, so that's why they challenged. But it appears that it, it might have been just a, a manual error there, so eight nothing like we thought. So no challenge needed from the Mongolian corner. Minute 15 to go, second period. Don't forget a big one coming up for gold at this weight next. Bajrang Punia. Rahman Amuzad Khalili, Iran. And this Mongolian crowd shows their approval with the step out point. Something positive for Seven Siren. Eight to one. Final few moments, 15 seconds remaining. Kaiki Yamaguchi thought he really grew up a lot last year in Oslo at the World Championships. Picked up some valuable experience. The junior world champion from three years ago has now secured his first senior level medal and he does it here in Ula Bantar against the Mongolian. Seven Surin. Winner by decision. Eight to one, Japan. Two weights, two bronze medals tonight. Japan. 